All right, real quick uh, before I get started, um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, select uh, all with the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a uh, new presentation or thinking out loud uh, segment or real talk Tuesdays. So I've been hearing that you know people still not get notifications and they have um, all selected. All right, um, so shout out to my daughter So So. I hope you're feeling better, darling. I love you. Shout out to my sister Sunray. Today's date, November 18th, 2022. All right, we're on the eve of another Shabbat. Got a lot of new subscribers, so I want to say welcome. Welcome to you all, and I want to thank everybody for continuing to support the channel, uh, continuing to grow the channel, you know, commenting you know, with your positive comments and uh, liking the videos. You know, that all helps in the viewership, and I appreciate every single one of you, and I love all of y'all that love me. Real talk. All right, we're on the eve of another Shabbat. I wanted to talk about um, get into a little more depth into this this African limba, so-called Cohen modal haplotype that um, uh, these European folks got so excited about. I should have known something was up when I, when they got excited, right? Um, way back when I first started this this whole journey or whatever, you know, I didn't understand. You know, I thought they was like I thought that was just further proof of you know of who we are genetically and biblically, but you know, apparently this so-called, you know, Cohen modal haplotype is coming in through um, haplo, haplo groups J and and we know that that's not a, that's not a uh, Israelite haplo group, man. Like knock it off. They still trying to perpetuate the lie. Like listen, DNA has done blew all of that up. Like like I'm telling you, none of that stuff don't hold no water no more. We got DNA now. They need to knock it off with the lies, man. We got the Bible and we got our blood, my people. They can't they can't come at us with this just banana in the tailpipe stuff no more, man. We got we got our DNA tells the truth and they DNA tells the truth too, and they've been lying all these years they need to, the the gig is up they need to knock it off already man like like listen ain't no haplogroup j and no j1 i listen listen those people are straight europeans man they're from the caucasus mountains they german they're from ashkenaz magog and gomer man like stop playing with us you know what i'm saying they're still perpetuating this lie it's a lie but listen man what's true is that the african limba majority of them they are our brothers now, if, they, if if some of them possess this so-called haplogroup J, I, I don't see it. I'm not saying that it's not there. And again, that's not nothing exciting because all of us are mixed. All of us have some kind of, you know, European in our blood, this and that, whatever, whatever. That, that don't excite me. I don't do nothing for me. But when I look at the African limba, I don't see no 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 percentage of them that looks mixed or looks mulatto or look like they could have some, some J1 blood in them. I mean, I don't know. But all I do know is that haplogroup J, J1, whatever you want to call it, is not an Israelite haplogroup. That is not the haplo that is not the haplotype of Jacob. Okay? Nobody can claim Israelite or now in a Hebrew that's something else. I'm talking strictly Israelites. Alright, you can remember that's what I'm on now. I don't even claim Hebrew no more. The seed of Jacob are Israelites. If you don't possess the E1B1A haplotype, you are not from the seed in the loins of Jacob. Period. Now, just because you do not possess the E1B1A, does that mean you cannot walk with the Israelites? No, it doesn't. All that genetically means and, 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 and reckons your genealogy, right? But you can sojourn with the children of Israel. You still have an end to pick up the law, statutes, and commandments that the Most High gave to the children of Israel and walk with us, man, and be and sojourners. And the Most High said he will see you as one that is home born or in other words, one that is this a, a genetic uh, Israelite, E1B1, and he will see you the same as that if you take up the law, statutes, and commandments given to the children of Israel. All right, but for some reason, a lot of people, they don't want to be sojourners. They want to be us. They want to be the seed of Jacob. Hey, I, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel you. But don't let that get, don't let that discourage you. Ain't about no E1B1A or about no, because a lot of E1B1As ain't going to make it. Let's keep it 100. All right? Although Israelites are as the sand of the sea, only a remnant going to be returned to the most time. I'm saying, stop playing. So let's get into this. You know, I'm looking to this whole you know, this African limb and this cohen modal. Like I said, when I first, you know, got at them like back in 2015, I, I, I didn't really understand. But my, my spirit of understanding is open a lot more. So we're going to address it again. So let's get it. 
I'm going to I'm going to talk I'm going to deal with the African limba. Uh, some years ago, when I first touched on them, um, I, I I didn't really know all of what I needed to know about, about that situation. I mean, I was excited. Yeah, you know, the African limba. They did the DNA and DNA came it came back that they were. Um, um, not not only that they were Israelites, but that they were they were Kohen Moto. They had the Kohen Moto haplotype, and I'm like, oh man, yeah, this and that. You know, I was excited, and and then, but it didn't dawn on me why a bunch of uh, uh, Europeans were excited that that the, um, not necessarily excited, but um, why they were kind of endorsing uh, the African Limba as having this Kohen Moto haplotype, right? And so, you know, I just did some more digging, some more digging. Well, real quick, um, just so you all know, the African Limba, they, they they stem from the Bantu expansion as well. They are our brothers for the most part. OK, they are Bantus. They're from that whole Bantu expansion. They carry they, they carry E1B1A just like us. OK, they are Israelites. But here's the thing. Here's the problem. This is why I'm doing this lesson, because uh, supposedly this co this Kohen model that the African Limba possesses is supposed to be um haplogroup under haplogroup J1 and I, I believe it may be maybe even E1B1B I'm not sure but we know that E1B1B is 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 Edom is, 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 is and it's Semitic as well and so and J1 is straight up European but remember when I said brothers and sisters and sojourners of Israel that our DNA, our Y DNA haplotype is not recognized as one of the uh, haplotypes of the children of Israel, and therein lies the problem. This this haplogroup J one, no, that's 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 not. But see, that's what that's what the world quote unquote considers a Jewish haplogroup, and and apparently um, there were some limbas, uh, African limbas. Uh, the tested for this J this haplogroup J one. Now I've seen a lot of pictures of the limbas, and I don't see any of them looking like mixed or looking like mulattoes or looking like there might be some mixed bloods in there. I just I just don't see it, so I don't know what's up with that. I really don't. Um, but I think that the limba, their gene pool and their DNA pool is not going to look any any different than 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 African Americans or uh, you know Puerto Ricans or Dominicans. Uh, you know, different groups and 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 nations of our people that that whose seed has been mixed in with just about everyone, right? So, the African limba, they're they're really no different. You know, when 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 the Most High uh, scattered the children of Israel, our seed literally mixed with virtually every nation on earth. So, to have a you know a small percentage of us having this haplotype and having that haplotype, you know, that's that's not nothing groundbreaking. But I think that the that the thing is. I think they're trying to use they're trying to use the African limbo. The African limbo are being used with with some disinformation, right? Basically to try to come against us, the E one B one A's. That's what's going on, man. It's real subtle, but that's what's happening. So anyway, let's get let's get to it. Okay, before I really get into the um the lesson and especially the genetic portion of the lesson where the limbo is concerned, I think it's important to set the context with this whole haplogroup J1 thing, because um, this is this is a part of the problem, the major problem, my people. I mean, until or unless we somehow these uh, these geneticists, quote unquote, um, that get to say what what's Jewish and what's not. I mean, and until that changes, man, we're, you know, our our battle is is uphill. This is what it says. It says Judaism is a religion comprised of numerous and various peoples of all races and ethnicities, which is true. Israelites are the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Um, more specifically, uh, Jacob, you know, via Isaac, because that was his dad, but it's Jacob. J the, the, the children of Israel are Jacob's ki uh, ch children, okay? The ones who came from the loins of Jacob. Jacob was one man with one Y DNA haplotype, period. And it goes on to say that Israelites are scattered um, around the world. Oh, thank you, Captain Obvious. We know that. And can be found practicing every religion. Now, that is very true. I mean, that's extremely. <laughs> it says DNA testing has proven that Judaism is a religion as the Jewish people have tested positive for at least eight distinct and unrelated lineage, which that in itself should tell 
tell us, tell you all that this is bogus. There's no such thing that they, there can't be eight distinct unrelated lineages um, that goes back to Jacob because the children of Jacob carry his DNA, period, point blank. He was only one man and he gave all 12 of his sons to E1B1A. So see, see, they say these things because they, they count on your ignorance. They count on you not knowing how DNA works and how why DNA haplotypes work. And before the Most High raised me up six years ago to bring forth the Holy Haplotype to the children of Israel, you know, uh, all of you didn't know that how it worked, right? Like Jacob was one man. He had one Y DNA haplotype and he gave that one Y DNA haplotype to all 12 of his sons, right? See, before that, I, did, I didn't know. That's that's you know how it worked or whatever the case may be. And I, if I would have read this seven years ago, I, it wouldn't have been meant anything to me. Okay, so Jewish people have eight distinct and unrelated lineages. That is just madness, right? I mean, they talking about playing with playing with your intelligence, man. And it goes on to say J one. Check this out. Listen, watch this. It says J one is the only Semitic haplogroup recognized by geneticists <laughs> ain't that a <laughs> it's, it appears heavily in Ethiopia Yemen and Arabia like, are you even kidding me it's, it is it is common amongst uh, Boudians STR markers are used to specify lineages within a specific haplogroup the Kohenim which are found within the Buba clan of the African Limba of South Africa um, the, descendants, the descendants of Muhammad, Ishmael, and the Solomonic Sol Amhara of Ethiopia are all defined by specific haplogroups. But yes, here's the thing, though. Ethiopians are from Kush, man. Kush is from Ham. Ethiopians are Hamitic. Who do they think they talking to? Like, like they, they need to they need to they need to change this up man because th this stuff they talking is 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 old like like we don't we we don't we don't believe that we we know better now like 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 negroes are not ignorant totally ignorant to how dna and everything works we know that ethiopians because the bible tells us that they are from kush by way of ham they are ha they are hamites ethiopians are hermetic they are they are converted jews okay they are not from the seed or the loins of Jacob. They're not. Stop it. Knock it off. And and so that being said, real quick, let's let's see what haplogroup well well let's let's define haplogroup J real quick and then we'll go into what some of the people in haplogroup J actually look like. Yeah, they uh they have to knock it off, man. Um really. Haplogroup J. Uh they say impossible time of origin, forty five thousand years ago, possible place of origin, Caucasus. Or the Caucasus Mountains, Eurasia, J1 and J2 are their descendants, and these are your J1s. This is what they look like. You're gonna tell me these people came from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, a dark-skinned Negro people, or a bunch of people that look like the that look like the Limba. They all came. They both both these races of people came from the same seed. Man, get out of here, man. They they need to stop it. They really need to knock it off. This is what this is what J1 looks like. Haplogroup J. Okay, um, in the 1990s, a team of scientists, including the geneticist Michael Hammer, um, the, the nephrologist Carl Sharecki, and their colleagues in England, <laughs> discovered the existence of a haplotype, which they termed the Cohen Modo haplotype, abbreviated as CMH. Cohen is the Hebrew word for priest and designates descendants of Judean priests from 2,000 years ago. Initial research indicated that while only about 3% of general Jews have this haplotype, 45% Ashkenazi's Kohens have it, while 56% of Shepardic Kohens have it. David Goldstein, an evolutionary geneticist at Oxford University, said, quote, It looks like this chromosomal type was a constituent of the ancestral Hebrew population. Some Jewish rabbis used the Kohen study to argue that all Kohens with the CMH had descended from Aaron, a high priest who lived about 3,500 years ago, as the Torah claimed. 
Shortly after, it was determined that 53% of the Buba clan of the Lemba people of Southern Africa have the Kohen Moro haplotype, compared to 9% of non Buba Lembas. Lemba males carry a higher concentration of this Jewish priestly DNA chromosomes that that the European and American Jewish population, and therefore more Jewish than the European and American Jews. Yeah, but that's by their standard of what they consider a Jew, though. But that's and that's not what it is. That's the problem. Although the Buba uh, tribe has this Kohen Moto in higher percentages than the Ashkenazi priests, the non-Buba Limba still has the highest percentage of the Kohen Moto outside the priestly order of the Kohenim. This means that the Kohen Moto is still higher than the Ashkenazis and Shepardic groups put together. But here's the thing. All of that really means nothing. See, when I, when I first read this, when I first dealt with this, right, some years ago, I was dealing with it under the assumption that they were saying all these things based on the fact that the fact that the the African Lemba, the majority of them are E1B1A. But no, that's not what that's not what they were saying. That's not what their their reports are are, are implying. Um, as I as I continue to to research on, I found that what they're trying to say is that the Lemba is this, this so-called test for this Cohen model and all this highest concentration this and this and that yada 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 basically they're saying that they those limbers fall under haplogroup j1 not e1b1a that's the problem and see when i read that little piece to y'all that said that j1 is the only uh the only haplogroup accepted by geneticists that's the problem okay so really the limba from that standpoint, the limba is not doing us any good because they're 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 co-signing the limba based on their faulty um, definition of what 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 constitutes a, a, an Israelite by DNA or by the Y DNA haplotype, and that's the problem. See the 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 the, the Ebos, um, they're in better position to to change that narrative. Okay, um, they are. Uh, so you know we'll see how how it, how it goes, but that's that's the problem. So basically, they're 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 latching on to the to African limba, saying, yeah, okay, you know, so these these blacks right here are are proven Jews by their DNA, by the DNA that they say is Jewish, right? Not based on any 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 genetic fact, not based on biblical fact. Okay, Jacob was one man. And, and Jacob and, 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 and you know didn't birth uh, a Negro and a, and a Mexican and and, uh, and all these different kind of races of people you know Russians and Eurasians and all, all this it's just, just ridiculous but I, like I said they said all this when when we were totally ignorant and had no idea about nothing about no DNA and what haplogroups or haplotypes was or none of that but it's a new day now we, we're in the age of the internet we're in the age of information Okay, we, 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 we reject that, all right, we, because it's foolishness, all right? There's no eight different lineages coming from one man. That's, that's just genetically impossible. And I just, to, for, for so-called geneticists to even say that, I mean, it's just asinine. It's like, who are you even talking to? Like, seriously, I mean, I get, it's, it's upsetting to think that they, 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 they can still say that kind of stuff now and, it, and it'd be okay. Like, 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 we won't check them and we don't know exactly what the, how, you know, how the Y DNA haplotype and the haplogroups work now or whatever the case may be. It's just, um, really, man, it's, 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 I don't even know the word, man. You know, it's, it's insulting, you know, on the one hand and on the other hand, it's, it's, it's makes me angry because it's like you know um this this is the battle I've been, I've been fighting for over six years you know and 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 truthfully man other than people stealing from me and taking from me you know and you know whatever I haven't had anyone fighting with me that, that that's that's pretty lonely man when you when you when like you feel like you're fighting a battle by yourself right like I mean seriously like I I <laughs> But I mean, it is what it is, man. You know. Um, so anyway, let's look, let's look at this. Th this is why um, them them basically endorsing the African limba is problematic for us because basically, with them latching on to them, they're basically using them to to try to phase us out. When when no, the 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 the, the deal is the majority of the African limba are actually our brothers. They are Israelites, but they they don't understand. They don't know. 
that their Y DNA haplotype that makes them Israelites is not J1. So my thing is, if 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 if, if some of the limbs actually tested for that, like I just really need to find out where you know, like I, I don't know if that really happened, like because I got the data, right, and the sample of the of the um of the um the African limb, I have it, and. Again, it's, it's it's all you know E1B1A, EM2, EM2, you know which is E1B1A, and like I said, there's a few percentage of of other haplotypes in there, but then but then again, that's no different than than every other Negro influenced nation, you know, pretty much throughout the world. Like we're we're mixed, so that wasn't really you know alarming, right? So anyway, let's let's look at that next 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 segment. All right, so y'all um follow me on this now, this is this is um, traditionally what they've done you know um, with, with with their with their studies and and, and their um, DNA and genetic tests and whatnot and that's why I've always called for us to have more um, geneticists that look like us or our people are geneticists right um, but they'll give you you know they'll they'll give some 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 truth and then they'll mix some a bunch of a whole bunch of madness up in there with it and then, you know, people who don't really know anyway don't know what to do with it, with the information. So it's like they just, you know, speaking the womp, 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 basically, you know, because people don't know what, what that stuff means or whatever. Um, but let's see here. Um, okay. Yeah, give me one second. Okay. Um, it says... Uh, to evaluate sharing of Y chromosomes between populations, they considered both the total number of Y chromosomes observed in a data set in which each Y chromosome haplotype was counted only once. Um, the degree of sharing of Y chromosomes between Ashkenazis and Shepardic uh, Jews, uh, they got them listed as Israelites, but they are not Israelites, okay? So I, I refuse to re refer to them as Ashkenazi Israelites. I will not, I will not. Um, but it's been reported uh, elsewhere. Haplotype 34 or, or, or the, or the Cohen modal is present in varying frequencies in Ashkenazi Jews and Sephardic uh, Jews. So that tells us right there that that, 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 that this so-called Cohen modal is definitely not of the E1B1A stock. So we know off top that that, that Cohen modal is, is, is bunk. Okay, and that's that's my point. Back when, when I first did this um, story, I, would, I didn't really understand or, or know. I was assuming that the Cohen model was attached to E1B1A until I discovered and researched this data on these so-called Ashkenazis and Shepardic um, Jews. All right, this is by uh, uh, Yemeni and Lemba, but it's absent from the Bantu populations, as it should be. All right, there we go. Come on. It says the Cohen model represents 0.088 of all Limba Y chromosomes and 0.135 of Limba UEP group 1 Y chromosomes equivalent population UEP group 1 proportions for Ashkenazi uh, Jews and Sephardic Jews and Yemeni are respectively 0.150, 0 0.231 and 0.100. The Cohen modal is an important component in the sharing of Ashkenazi and Sephardic uh, Jewish Y chromosomes. Um, it is also the major component of Ashkenazi and Shepardic, uh Jews Y chromosome sharing with the Limba. The Yemeni Hadramat samples only have one such chromosome among them. Now check this out. In this very last line, it it does away it's, 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 it does away with everything that I just told you. Check this out. It says two striking features are the large proportion of haplotypes found in the Bantu that are also present in the limba mic drop so in that very last line now if you didn't know what we know as far as what the e1b1a and what and what the e1b1a is and being the foundation of the formation of the ancient israelite nation that last line would mean absolutely nothing to you but basically what they told us in that last line is that the limba are the bantus e1b1a's man the seed of jacob it says two striking features are the large proportion of haplotypes found in the Bantu that are also present in the Limba. <laughs> On to the next segment. <laughs> These people, man, I swear. Okay. Um, here's, here's where we are. All right, let me go ahead and sum this up, man, because really, this is just ridiculous. 
Um, yeah, I, I take exception to the to the fact of, of so-called geneticists and scientists referring to Shepardic Jews and uh, Ashkenazi Jews as Israelites, because uh, that that name, I mean, that's 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 a disrespect. They are not the seeds of Jacob to be considered and called an Israelite. You have to prove that you are from the loins of Jacob. OK, possessing Jacob's Y DNA haplotype and not the haplotype that you say is Jewish, but the actual haplotype of Jacob that we possess, the children of Israel that were cursed to go back into slavery by way of ships. Listen, this is what's going on, my people, brothers, sisters and sojourners of Israel. OK, let me let me sum it all up. All of everything I just read to you, everything I presented, let me sum it all up. Basically, the African Limba, they are our people. However, they got to them and injected some madness. And basically, they, they're, they're, te they're telling the African Limba that they're Israelites by, by, by way of a faulty uh, Y DNA haplotype, not E1B1A. That's not what they're telling the Limba. So essentially, by them, not, by them telling and, and, and putting the battery in the Limba's back, that their haplogroup J and J1 and all these other crazy haplogroups and got them thinking that that's the seed of, of uh, well, obviously Aaron, if, if they're supposed to be Levites. And that's that's wrong. And, and that pits them against us. I mean, classic, right? Um, putting us against one another. That's where we are, though. So many years ago, when I first started, I thought it was it was it was based on the fact that them being E1B1A because that's what they are. I mean, I read I read the the. Um, the thing to you, right? The very last line that gave us the truth about the Bantus and the Limbas, okay? Uh, the Limbas are our brothers, but they have them thinking that they're under some weird haplogroup, um, and that makes them, that's why they're Jewish or Kohenim and all this kind of stuff. So basically, injecting even more confusion into a people who are already confused or pitting us against one another. Um, it's just, it's sad, man. Uh, you know, I mean, they're, they're in control. They're, they're in power, right? They, they call the shots, right? So, I mean, that's what it is. But, but in a nutshell, that, that's what we're looking at. So, I think we've established that this, this so-called Cohen model that they say that the Limba possess, we know, we know now that that's bunk because our so-called Ashkenazis and Shepardi Jews have that that so-called Cohen model. So clearly this Cohen model is attached to, uh, in some way to J one or haplogroup J that they say that they accept as a uh, semantic haplogroup or whatever. So again, that's them deciding who's, who's Jewish and who's not right. That's we're, we're back to square one with that, but that's where we are, man. I'm not going to go on and on and on about, it. I'm not going to, you know, you know, um, run it in the ground, but that's where we are. Um, I, I believe that, that unscrupulous men are kind of been putting a battery in the limbo's back and running, got them running around just talking crazy, you know, and it's just, it's sad, man, but, but, but that's what it is anyway. Um, I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed the lesson. Um, you know how I do until next time. This is Dr. E from signing off saying hi, you by Yeshim, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Baruch, Atua, Adonai, Shalom, Amalek.